time now for our Teacher of the Month. This month we go inside a special education classroom, but it's our April honorees' regular lessons out in the community that are helping many of his students discover ways they can serve. When we hear the timer, just, just remember we need to grab our folders, have our utensils, and get ready for what, Nina? Morning literacy. As his students get settled and ready for class, Erlen Lacey makes the rounds. Have you checked in for the day? No. Can you do that for me? Yes. Thank you. I always wanted to teach. I happened to go to a Special Olympics event, and I was really inspired by, you know, by the students. Nice job, Jossie. So, the radio and television production major chose to make special education his career. Can you tell me which day of the week is it? It's Monday morning at Kirk School in Palatine, a special education school for students with multiple disabilities. Luke Cullen has been here for eight years. The kind of autism that you normally hear about is, you know, the kind where they have some unique talent, or Luke has the kind that's severe and it's a hard day and you're exhausted and he might bite, scratch to himself or others. We've hospitalized him, we've used over six, tried over 60 different medications. He has had such a hard time, but after he came here, he started having people that treated him like a normal human being. And that's why Luke's mother, Jamie, wanted us to visit and meet Mr. Lacey. What? What? Thank you. Mr. Lacey has a patience beyond belief. And what he also understands is that if you give Luke an inch, he's going to take a mile. And, and I, like when you're a parent and you're busy and you need to go to the store, and you're like, oh, just get your jacket on. Erlen will not do that. He will make the child, you know, make Luke get his own jacket on. Zip your jacket. The little lessons in life skills have added up. Now he dresses himself. I mean, he can make his own hot dogs in the microwave. He has grown so much, even in the daily living skills. And thanks to Mr. Lacey, Luke's business skills are growing as well. We want them to be active participants, members of our community. A big part of kids with special needs now is trying to find them jobs. And so Erlen's been ex help very helpful. We have started a nacho business with another special needs boy where Luke sells nachos to the staff. And Erlen's instrumental in setting, setting up the right goals for Luke to engage the customers when they come in. Could we set up at a park? Could we go to a craft show where he sells nachos? After working with them for so long, you see them really take off and take those skills, and then all of a sudden you guys come in and they are really rising up to the occasion. They're, you know, they're completing their work and they're interacting, they're saying hello. And this is Nina. Nina, you want to say hello? Hi, Mr. Nina here. Nice to meet you. Award sponsor and attorney Ken Allen visited the classroom to honor Mr. Lacey and present him with a $1,000 check. You make a big impact here. It's flattering to hear that I've made a change in Luke's life, but I also like, I truly cherish every moment that I have with Luke. Well, it takes a special person to really be able to do that, bring the best out in those kids. If you are a student and have a teacher making an impact in your life, we want to hear about it. Go to the WGN TV website to submit a nomination.